Hello Kingdom Lovers. Today we're going to look at uh, the uh, pains of conforming to Christ. Once you get saved, immediately the Holy Spirit begins to walk in you, begin to form you, begin to remove things that does not line up with Christ in your life. So uh, when you get that is when you get saved the, the the New Testament Bible way and the Holy Spirit come to seal you. Remember that you come to God in your, your in your state of mind, corrupt, evil, wicked, whatever it is, sin. As soon as the Holy Spirit comes to you to seal you, begin to walk in you. And that is what is mean it means by conforming to Christ. And it's gonna do that until you leave this earth or until after rapture, whichever one comes first. So the Holy Spirit continues to work in your life and the process is conforming, conforming to Christ and it's very painful. It is a very painful stage and so many people are going through that stage now and they wonder where is God. So this video is to help you, to encourage you, especially for those of you who are going through challenges and crisis right now. As I'm doing this video, as I'm doing this fellowship, I know some of you are going through serious crisis. It looks like God is far from you. I want to encourage you that God is not far. He's near to you if you are truly saved not just a church member you can be a church member and not saved but when you have the seal of the holy spirit that is when god authenticates you as his own child in second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 we are told not to be ignorant of the device of the devil so that he won't take advantage of us so when you know what god is doing in your life then you will be encouraged and be strengthened the more that you are conformed to christ the more the world will hate you because you don't fit in their cliques you see it's, a, it's an ongoing process as as you are being conformed to Christ. The world, when I say the world here, it means people around you, people that you know, your friends, your family, could be your father, your mother, your wife. <laughs> That's a big challenge. Your husband. Yeah. Because if one of you gets saved and the other one doesn't get saved, Christ begins to work on you, then you will not be able to conform to the way you used to do things and they won't understand you. They can come against you very harshly. And if you are even in a church that doesn't preach Christ as, you know, you, your faith, with your faith, you got saved and the Holy Spirit come and seal you, you find out that even the church that you are in, you're no longer fitting into their, their cliques, their doctrine. You won't be comfortable. Your pastor can even, uh, you know, uh, be against you because if it's not, if it's a false prophet or a false pastor, you're going to go through pain. And some, when this thing happens, it looks like you are the bad person, that something's wrong with you. Relax, nothing's wrong with you. You are beginning to see through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. And it grows from one level to another level. It grows as you're going to fellowship with God, as you're going to yield to the Holy Spirit to, to train you, to, to deal with you, to prove you. It grows from one level to the other. You find out that you, your, your colleagues that at work or your, your former classmates, they can't understand you. But at the same time, because the Holy Spirit lives in you, you are focused on the Holy Spirit. You rather preach the Holy Spirit than to please men. So a lot of you will go through a lot of challenges. I have been through it. I know what I went through. Even in the United States of America where I got saved, it wasn't easy. Being a very strong party goer, you know, when I was in, in the university, I, I used to go to club a lot and, you know, was a DJ. I, I DJed in clubs and so many things for many years before I was delivered. So I know the pains that people go through. And that's why uh, it's very important for you to understand what God is doing. There was a time that I thought Christ has left me because all of my family, they were against me. My best friends, they left even the pastor that I was under, <laughs> turned against me. So all you need to do is understand what you're going through. Thank God. God will always send somebody to you that will advise you and strengthen you. And that's what this video is for those of you who are going through some serious challenges right now. Some of you, you are beginning to uh, come into understanding with God. Your eyes are beginning to open and, and you're like, what is going on? It's going to be a process. It's the work on of the Holy Spirit. Let me read Romans chapter. Chapter 8 and 29th verse. Romans chapter 8, 29. This is going to be inspiring. It's going to be encouraging. So go ahead and hit the share button. Uh, put your comment. Let me know how you feel about this video. In Romans chapter 8, verse 29, he says, For whom he did for new. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about God. For whom he did for new. He also predestinates to be conformed to the image of his son. So once God, once you he, once you get saved, you come into the household of God, God's family. When I, when I say get saved, I'm not talking about church. When you truly get saved, when you have the seal of the Holy Spirit, you know, then, you know, He wants you to conform to the to Christ. So conformation starts working in you. That word conform, the Greek word is uh, simorphos, simorphos. Simorphos means having the same form as another, very similar. So God wants you to be very similar to Christ. You know, so that 
that is reshaping you. That is is a painful process. So many people will just dislike you because they look at you as odd. Because you begin to see things differently. And you won't understand why they don't understand you. They don't understand you. In First Peter chapter 5, I'm going to read verse 10. He said, But the grace of all, he said, But the God of all grace, who have called us into eternal glory. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Ah, who has called us into eternal glory? Look at that. Mark that word. He has called to eternal glory. By Jesus Christ, only by Jesus Christ. There's no other way. After that, you have suffered a while. <laughs> Make you perfect. Establish, strengthen, and set to you. So let this verse comfort you. He has called you into eternal glory, but that glory doesn't manifest right away. It takes time. He now says, number one, you will suffer. So suffering is a portion to every believer that comes. You know, I live in an advanced country, and I know how much I suffered here after I, I got saved the Bible way. For many years, I was religious, but the day the Holy Spirit came upon me, I got saved. My goodness. Much more after I received my call in a vision, and I responded, it became even worse. So suffering is part of the process. It's the pruning stage when God begins to conform you. Now, the key word here is say, after you suffer for a while. So it's for a while. No matter the number of years, months, it's for a while. It will stop. Now he's not perfect you. That's when you're not conformed to Christ. That's why you, that's when you become perfect. Then he strengthens you and settles you. So God never leaves you abandoned. That's why you always trust in God every time. Depend on God. Your family members, your friends, your colleagues, your classmates, they might hate you. Even your local pastor or your Jew might dislike you because you got saved. And, uh, and you are putting some flaws out of the doctrine. Understand that God will have um, at least 7,000 who have not bowed down to bow. He will send people to you to help you. You know, I've happened to meet people who I don't know that helped me, that comforted me. You know, so um, he will say to you and he will lift you. So let this verse, First Peter chapter 5, verse 10, be a comfort to you. He said that after you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and set to you. You will be set to. One thing is when you come to God, he chastises you, he punishes you, he bruises you. The reason is to remove all those things that you were used to. For instance, like I used to love, love parties. I used to love, you know, all type of music, clubbing, party, all one best. But when God began to prune me, it was painful. It was painful. Let me read Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. It says, For whom the Lord loved, he chastised and scourged every son whom he received. When you come to God, when he receives you, he will wash you, he will clean you. My goodness, um, after God worked on me, <laughs> I don't even love parties or clubs anymore and things that i used to do they, they become disgusting to me my friends could not understand why my colleagues could not understand why <laughs> so um it, it's a process god will scourge you he will wash you it's a process so just hang in there depend on god in luke chapter 6 and verse 22 i'll read this this is going to be a short video it said blessed are ye when men hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. So all your friends, all your colleagues, when they hate you, they lie against you, they blackmail you, they just don't like you for no reason. They falsely accuse you. God say you are blessed. So wherever you are, lift up your hands towards heaven and say, I am blessed. Doesn't matter who is against me, I am blessed. Because I love Jesus, because I got saved the true way. I'm not doing things based on doctrines, false doctrines, based on world system. They hate me. They don't like me. I am blessed. Look at yourself as a blessed person. For many years, I thought I was a bad person, that I was evil, that something was wrong with me, not knowing that I was already walking in the blessing of God. Glory to God. When I saw this verse, I was encouraged. So I want to encourage you today. Be encouraged. You know, your family can turn against you. My family turned against me. and and But God gave me a new family. It's the family of God. You know, after his own, he gave me new friends. Or my friends, they abandoned me. Friends that we used to go to clubs and parties together. In the good old years of A, they abandoned me. All those club, clubbing time, partying time. Even friends and pastors that I knew before, fake pastors, they just hate me for no reason. It's because the glory of God is beginning to reveal in my life. And it's going to reveal in your life in the name of Jesus. Just hang in. Don't go back. That's why don't be ignorant of the advice of Satan. Satan will try to pull you back. But say no and move forward. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 16. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. Apostle Paul, who God used mightily, they came against him. He said, At my first answer, no man stood with him, but all men forsook me. 
I pray God that it may be, not be laid to their charge. So people will forsake you. The person that you love the most, they will forsake you. They will take advantage of you and just dump you and hate you for no reason. They won't understand you. They will forsake you. When that comes, don't cry. Don't weep. Can it all joy? Begin to joy in the Holy Ghost. As long as you are in the faith. Glory to God. So don't be discouraged. Anyone, Apostle Paul was so bruisedly wounded that he made this comment in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. He said, Alexander, the copper smith, did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his work. These are people who work with Apostle Paul and whom he trusted. They betrayed him. They did evil to him. So people that you love, people that you trust, they will do you evil. It's part of the suffering package that God has given to you. What you need to do is set your gaze on God. Set your gaze on God. Know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You might be asking me, ah, right now you are going through so much challenges. How can this help you? Number one, you are, you know, you will lose people in your circles. Once you got saved, especially if you love the word of God, you want to stand the truth, you will lose people. You will not be able to belong to their cliques. You will not be able to belong to their association or their clubs. You will not be able to belong to their alliance. It's part of the package because God is cleaning you. He's removing you. Remember that when you get saved, the Holy Spirit comes into you, not to condemn you, but to make it to conform to Christ. It's a very painful process. A lot of people don't know this. And that's why they backslide. They, they forsake God. But when you know that it's a package, that at the end, you're going to come out glorious, you have to hang in and depend on God. You see, I told you about my former life. Uh, I was not like this. I never knew God was going to use me. God has used me to touch a lot of people why all over all over the world. Has used me to raise the dead. Used me to heal several sick people. The thing is, I don't put it on camera. I don't showcase all this because Jesus Christ takes all the glory. The more you know God, the more you study His Word, the more you are conformed to Christ. Oh my goodness, it is challenging. The world will hate you. And I remember when I say the world, it could be your wife, your husband, your children, your pastors, your geo, your bishop, your archbishop, your colleagues, your former classmates. They will hate you with a passion. But what you do is keep looking unto God. Hang in there. Don't give up on God. Because God is about to turn your life around. Glory to God. You know, in Psalm 1, and I read verse 4. That's why it's not even good worth it to be a wicked person. Remember that if you are not saved, God call you a wicked person. You might be going to church, praying in tongues, carrying big Bible, be scamming and deceiving people, be collecting from uh, the poor, saying that you're using for God. God calls you a wicked person and it will end very terribly. Look at your Bible, look at Psalm 1 verse 4. It says, For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Do you want to perish? I don't think so. You kingdom lovers, I don't want to perish. God loves you. So the way of the wicked shall perish. You might be going to suffer right now. You might be going through lack. You don't know where your next meal is going to come from. Instead of you scamming people, deceiving people, and cheating and taking and stealing and murdering, and still going to church and be saying, Praise the Lord, and doing evil. <laughs> you don't want to perish. Hang in. Stay to God. Stay with God. He will beautify you. Heaven is backing you up. You know, if you are watching me right now and you are not saved, automatically, damnation is coming to you. He said, for the way of the ungodly shall perish. If you don't know Christ and you don't have the seal of the Holy Spirit, you will perish. It is the word of God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 18, as I round up, he said, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. My goodness. Every time I read this verse, I just feel the power of God through my entire being. Your suffering cannot be compared to the glory of God. That will be revealed. It's a promise. Oh my goodness. It will be revealed. He said, our rep come. He said, reckon it. Understand it. That's why you should know the word of God for yourself. And not let Satan to take advantage of you. Because when you stick to the word of God, say, come what may, I will not leave God nor forsake God. I will not depart from the truth. I will preach the truth. I will expose false prophets. I will expose false doctrine. I will shine as a light because I am the light of the world. When you make up this your mind, make up your mind, even your family, if you are the only one that is saved in a family of 10, 20, and they are all against you, you stand your ground. Look at this promise. Say, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. When you stand for God, Stand for truth and allow God to conform you to the image of his son. As you are conforming gradually, you see that people will be falling off. Your children might even come against you. Your wife might come against you. Your husband or whatever might come against you. Because you have seen the evil. But when you hold on to God, David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When you make the Lord your shepherd, 
Oh, the shepherd always provides for the sheep. And I see God lifting you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm here to encourage you. Be strengthened. Be strong in the Lord. Stay with God. Because the glory of this present world that unbelievers are reaping, that wicked people are reaping, reaping, they are going to perish. You that is standing for the truth, you that love God, you are a kingdom lover, understand that the glory of God will flow in you, will flourish in you, and the glory is eternal, it's permanent, just hanging there. He said, after you have suffered for a little while, God will say to you, he will establish, he will strengthen, he will say to you, that glory cannot be compared to a billion dollars, cannot be compared to living in the best house in the world. That glory cannot be compared to a thousand fake likes, a thousand people that are like you, you and uh, you know just scamming you and you know uh, pretending. When the glory of God is revealing you, heaven is backing you up. But if you are not saved, you will not partake in this glory. Psalm one verse four says, "But the way of the ungodly shall perish." I'm inviting you to come to God today. Get saved the true Bible way, the New Testament way. Don't be religious. Just going to church alone, pray in tongue. Carrying big Bible, giving is not salvation. Salvation is when you put your faith on what Jesus did on that cross. When you believe that he died and he shed his blood for you, for your sins, past, present, and future sins. You put your faith alone on it. Make sure you do it and open your mouth and say it to God with a believing heart. The Holy Spirit comes and seal you and he begins to prune you. You are a member of the household of God, God's family. He loves you dearly and that's why he has packaged the glory that will be revealed in your life. This pain that you are going through is just temporary. Understand that the more that the Holy Spirit is building you and conforming you to Christ, the more you are going through, it's going to be painful. You are going to lose friends. You won't belong to the cliques. You won't belong to the circles. You'll be rejected. Your family, your wife, your husband, your father, your children, they will reject you. It is guaranteed. Any one of them, even your own pastor, but hold on to the word of God. Hold on to the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 11, verse around. It says, If the spirit of him that raised up Christ from the dead lives in you, that same spirit shall also vitalize your mortal body. When you got saved and the Holy Spirit comes into you, he lives there permanently. Oh, he guides you. You are the you are the most beautiful creation on earth. You are God's first class. So come to God today. God has made it so easy to get saved. I'm putting the uh, ABC of salvation in the comment section. Do it for yourself. Do it for your eternity. Come to God. Get saved today. I trust that this short video has been a blessing to you. I don't know about you. I'm already blessed. I'm encouraged. So go ahead and um, put your comments. Put your comments. Tell people about what God is doing in your life. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Stand for him. He said the glory. Oh my goodness. I can see the glory. My goodness. It's, it's, uh, it, there's nothing. America is not even as beautiful as just a tiny introduction to the glory of God. There's no country in this world that's as beautiful. As the glory of God that will be revealed in you. There's no amount of dollars, there's no amount of money that can be compared just to a tiny inch of the glory of God. So hang in there, stay with God. I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, have a very blessed day. God bless you. Bye bye.